Azione. 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 Buongiorno signori e signorine. Questo è Azione. On, um, 25 giugno uh, 2002 alla Chattanooga, Turchia, um, Bach, um, Bach, 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 Bar, casa numero 3 l'indirizzo <laughs> l'indirizzo l'indirizzo <laughs> yeah. ok here we are no swimming today there are two the sea is too choppy so let's stay in the house and do some excavation for today Uh, what we've done yesterday is we started uh, removing the next layer of floors in the Casa 3 and that means floor six, we removed floor 16 in the center of the building so we are on 17 now and that's our orange, uh, compact orange clay floor, uh, I mean that's the packing of the floor, the white layer that was on top of this floor is gone. Only here. Partially, probably in prehistory, and that's why the floor was replaced later with a new one, and partially through the excavation and uh, all that. Never. 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 Yeah, even though we had the best archaeologists here on the job. <laughs> and um, the preserved, uh, uh, the best preserved area is here in this um, northwest corner of the central space where we still have some plaster on top. But, so what we have here, Uh, um, the, the, the construction of this floor consisted of three layers at least. One is the orange uh, packing, the, on top of that was the grayish packing and probably also the, the, the results of the use of the floor. And on top of that was the white plaster. So that floor, as we have already discussed yesterday, Ruth and me, Uh, is here in case of uh, the linking with the, our platform 162 was going under the layer of the platform floor, the little layer, eight. That was, which no, is eight. number eight, which is sitting right here, we still can see it. The orange is going under this floor eight. So now we are removing floor eight on platform 162. And what do you have to say about that? We're coming down on a wonderful floor. It's the most exquisite floor I have ever excavated here, and that is many. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes, curves, joins very beautifully with floor 17 here. This is floor 9. Um, it's a, under a, quite a thick layer of packing, and it's a nice whitish floor. It's pretty good for the early period. But it's also sloping down towards the center of the platform. And it slopes down to the center. There's a real lip here and another one here between. Um, this, this is a sort of an enigma because um, it seems to be coming, sloping straight up and going into that packing stuff that lay under 772, not the packing, the, what was it, sort of plaster base. Plaster. For, but, um, but that bit of the plaster could have been just a button. Yeah, we, we uh, need to have a look wall. at it. Yeah, mm. we need to have a look at it. And, and because it is going uh, sloping towards the center, the, the packing gets thicker as you go towards yes. the center. Is that right? Yeah, and the packing just above the floor is full of bricky stuff, bricky material, even little pebbles. And also it seems that the orange, it's possible that the orange packing continues up that way under um, the, the floor, but that remains to be seen. I actually don't think so. I haven't cleaned it properly here. I don't think it does. No. And then on this end, we have an exquisite work by our <laughs> colleague, <laughs> Carrie. Mm -hmm. So Carrie, do you have anything to say about your floor? <laughs> No, not much. It's just a bit different from... She's not as enthusiastic as It's Harry. a bit different from Ruth. <laughs> If you'll notice over here, the treatment on this side was different than the treatment on this side. <laughs> you mean by me? No, 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 by the... Oh, and no, the I pretty did. intact floor and all mm. that sort of thing. So I'm still looking. I'm still optimistic. But you're finding the floor. Yeah, I have a little something over here, right. which is the same thing that we had right. down this way. Right. Which is nice. Yes. And so these are the early remains of the edge of, between mm -hmm. the two platforms that we 
uh, had throughout the history of the platforms here. Yeah, and so this is actually um, a blob of of uh, the previous floor, the previous floor that that we didn't remove. That's the same as eight here, right. and and then over here we've actually gone down to the equivalent of floor oh, nine okay. over here. Yeah, because you can see it in the yeah. profile right here. So, so this and the new floor are contemporary. Ah. And all of them are, late, are earlier than that over there. So that's the next one to go. Yes. This is one side, this is the next one, the floor is the next one to go. Now here, if you uh, turn towards the kitchen, the central floor goes into the kitchen. And what we have had always, and have still, is the floor uh, layering, all the layers, just go up this threshold thing and go into the kitchen. And they probably continued all the way through the kitchen, but because of the heavy use of these floors, they changed through time. And so the remains of this nice layering, a nice uh, white plaster floor that comes from the center, uh, stay just in this band in the kitchen that is about 25 to 30 centimeters thick, which is along the, this edge, and the rest of, the, of it has changed considerably. So, what we see at the moment is uh, the floor 11 is being removed, and the, the floor 12 is being exposed in the kitchen, and that could, have, uh, could be easily our earliest floor here in the kitchen and in the entry area. Actually, in the kitchen, we have not exposed much yet of that floor, but this whole gray-white uh, surface is um, the entry area into the building, and it's been, throughout the history of the building, it's been like this, sort of uh, very dry, very uneven, very uh, quite dirty, and affected by uh, a lot of walking on it and probably water leaking through and other and, and carrying and things up and down and putting on this floor and so forth. So this is it. What we have, this is probably the earliest then. What we also have here is a little group of uh, mini balls that, um, that had a lot of salt uh, deposition on it. So they became white and originally they were just clay, mini clay balls. We have a possible hole, original hole here for something, a little pole or something that was uh, holding, again, something that we don't know what it was. And there is another one in this area. And, and these pins are marking uh, the places where there are good uh, phytolith uh, traces which will be sampled. And there is a long one here, which I don't know if it can be, can be seen. And there is also um, a bit of pigment, possibly, here that fell on the floor and was um, maybe stepped on and became part of the floor. Um, so uh, that is that the earliest one in which, uh, in this phase, the line of the, this floor has gone like that. We can see the white line, but then we see something also appearing, similar floor appearing here which is on the same level as that. It might mean that this so-called kitchen entry area floors went all the way to there, and maybe even under this bench feature. So um, at this stage, what we had here was the a post, and then we had plasters coming out of the uh, east wall and here uh, forming a bench that was made of this brown packing in front of the post. And um, uh, then this packing came in later, and we don't know for what reason. But as the floors were built up here in the kitchen, going higher and higher kitchen, it seems that uh, they were making cuts into the bench, these cuts to make this entry area wider. So originally the bench would have been going all the way to the, this white edge, and then gradually it was cut in and made, the bench was made smaller and this entry area was made uh, wider. So that's that. And then the entry area on this end also has changed. Oh, before, yeah, okay, we'll go back to you. The entry area has changed 
in the sense that there is not only the niche in the earlier phases, there is also this little, another bench feature here, a step feature. Uh, the floor has been considerably um, damaged by animal activity, but also was true use. There is also uh, a number of mini figurine, uh, mini <laughs> figure, uh, mini balls here along the east wall of the building, and it seems that they were used as packing because we had a massive, uh, still have in this area massive packing between the early floor and the next one up, and those were used probably for the same purpose. We can. Uh, follow the continuation of the east face of this um, step bench feature down here going and connecting with the floor down in that corner. So the entry area is getting more and more better and better defined than it was the case before. It was more complex in the early stages than later because later what we had, we had a large platform built in here that made everything even, and, uh, the, uh, and the niche was not visible at that point. So let's go back to the west wing of the building before we leave building Casa La Casa Tre. And in the west wing, what we have, we are going for the earliest, for the early year, yet um, phase of these uh, basins. And this is our third, this was, this that is getting removed, was the third, third phase of the basins. We had two phases that uh, in, included lips such as this here of the basin, but in the third phase it seems that we didn't have a lip anymore, that it was sort of um, flat and uh, elevated um, area on which some sort of activity production went on. So now we are removing this floor, which would be um, one, two, three, fourth floor. Oh, no, this is the third floor that we are removing, arriving on the fourth floor here on, in the basin. And we also started removing the floor in 781 because uh, that floor and this lip was sitting on this visible floor in 780. So we are removing that, hoping that we will arrive on this earlier floor in this whole basin. And uh, we do see in the section that there is a massive packing between this top floor and that potentially uh, bottom floor. And here, we, when we started excavating, we also see uh, a big uh, lumps of uh, dark brown clay, which is also part of the packing. So that's what's going on here. On, uh, uh, platform 169, we, we are removing floor number 11, which is uh, contemporary with the central floor uh, number 16 that has been remove, removed. So we are trying to keep uh, on the same floor level in the entire building. But now it, is, it seems to be working fine. Okay, Jason, let's go to our... Uh, the situation in Space 89 has not changed since, since yesterday, and we talked about it extensively. Uh, now the decision is to look at a, a, at the top brick layer of all the walls around 89 in order to try to understand if some of the walls were earlier and some later, that is, they were not put in at the same time. And, and the unit number that we are opening, we are uh, going to remove the top layer of the bricks on all four walls around 89, because the top layer is very much eroded and destroyed by animal activity and by burials, late burials here. And it's difficult to see at this point exactly how the bricks go and uh, whether they are abutting or interlocking in the corners and so forth. So for us to be able to talk, um, uh, to, to give more evidence about these, we need to excavate one layer. And that's what we are beginning here on the south wall. And the bricks that are being removed are in unit 8475. 
and then uh, space 88 going deeper in the south half of it because it's still the <coughs> at the top there is a lot of uh, erosion of building material clay maybe packing right a lot of packing clay that has been just uh, eroded and and we don't see either floors or a proper surfaces mm -hmm. um, at which we could stop. So in the northern half it's slightly clearer because we are at the bottom of a platform and there is that base next to it. But in the southern half it's still um, very much unclear what's going on. So we need to go deeper in there. And in 87, a new burial cut has been discovered yesterday, which is on the floor below, the, on the second floor down, at least the second one that we could record. The first floor was excavated yesterday, and that, on that floor we had two previous two cuts, the big one in the center and the smaller one along the south wall that those belong to the first floor. The, and the new cut that can be seen here sort of between the two cuts is uh, from the second floor down. And um, obviously that cut has been affected by the two cuts from the later floor. That cut was, actually it was affected by only this smaller burial. And um, so now Laurie is going to to excavate that new burial cut. And that's it. Is there anything else, Laurie? Mm -hmm. oh. Tomorrow will be exciting. Tomorrow is the exciting day. Okay, so get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, arrivederci, ragazzi e ragazze. <laughs> and... Um, Noi siamo uh, mañana. <laughs> Domani. Domani, again. No, 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 no. Okay, bye.